I am having a lot of fun opening these uh, odor packs. I, I guess you can call them odor packs. I, I don't know. But I, I mean, it's been a long time since I've opened Zendikar Rising. And these odor packs don't have security tabs on them, it looks like. Which is quite interesting. They might be sitting in these mystery packs for a long time. So I got these. So in Walmart right now, or Walmart previously had a product where you buy it for $29.99 and you get six random random booster uh, blisters, mostly blisters. There were some loose boosters that I just gave my friend to open. Uh, and then you can have a one in five chance at a chase blister, which they define as who know what, who knows what. Uh, I have wish I was able to take the box home, which would be more fun, but they have a different... Ooh, base camp. Ruin Crab, this is a good card. Ruin Crab I know is good. I played it, I, I still play <laughs> Ruin Crab, guys. Ancient Green Warden, okay. And, and a land, okay. That was not bad. You may play land from your graveyard if a land enters the battlefield, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's double trigger. That was good. Actually, we have a lot of these. I don't know if this is a good set or a bad set, but I know we have a lot of this set. Yeah, so back to what I was talking about. So in the mystery boxes, this is the way it works. They have the mystery box, they try to sell it. If they don't sell it, they have to break down the box. That's why they're always redesigning the look of the box, right? And then the distribution warehouse in Oklahoma gets all those boxes that couldn't sell from the Walmarts and the Targets and so on, and then they basically open the boxes. Some of them they put into new boxes and some of them they just wanna to sell to people like me, vendors like myself, who have a contract with them. Wow, this one. And I actually have noticed some very big differences. It seems like most of the mystery boxes don't have security tabs. Now I've seen some with security tabs, but it seems like the large majority of the, oh, that's a swamp baby. I take that all day. Very beautiful land. Very, I mean, land is some of the most beautiful cards in this game. Okay. A lot, four charms in a row and a stompy. Oh, okay, I'll take the Skybridge Tower. Uh, and a stompy. Not the best pack, but not the worst pack. It could be much, much worse. I have opened a lot of this set. I don't know where to put this. Oh, here we go. And a stompy, okay. Dominaria United, one of the Sets that have cost me the most money. Oop. Yeah, there are no security codes here. Wow. Wow, so if you're like a thief, maybe you dark in the mystery boxes. Maybe there's a security code in the mystery box, right? But most most packs at Walmart that I've seen and I've shown on this channel. Ooh, that's a, that's a kind of cool card. What is it? Oh, this is Dominary United. Set. Okay. Okay, is that our, nope. Don't love it. Do not love it. Altai scorn. Irtai, Irtai scorn. Okay, I don't think that was valuable. Uh, Dominaria, I'm pretty sure we opened it already. I'm, I have like a stack of different sets. Nope, Dominaria we did not open. It would be the 10th set that we've opened so far. This we've definitely opened. I just can't find a symbol. Okay, this this we definitely open. This will be the 10th set that we, oh. Beautiful Dragon, Ancient Silver Dragon. That makes sense. That's why I haven't seen that one before. Decanter, oh, Decanter so good. This is a... Iron Baba Laga. Baba Laga. I think somebody was trying to say I should pronounce it right. I just don't have the time for that. Ooh, Criminal Past. Horn of Valhalla. Well, oh, Wizard's Retort. All right, uh, so we, we did get one of those set cards. It's about time, I think it's our first set card, right? As usual, you can always, you can always, uh, Expect that to give you a lot of random cards worth a dollar or two. Um, and uh, Midnight Hunt, one of the worst sets in existence. Yeah. 
So what I've noticed is they give you in that mystery box, they do give you a random set and they're sometimes valuable ones. But the older ones, I think they do this so you can't weigh it. It's like a booster sleeve. Huh. So you can't weigh the back of it. Okay, so this is draft. So, oh, I, I used to play this card. I'm starting to remember this set. I probably won't buy a lot of this. This is actually, in hindsight, was probably a very bad idea, financially speaking. Maybe you guys are having fun. I, I, got, I had fun the first time. Oh, I played this card a lot <laughs> back when I played Magic in draft. Denik. Oh, Swamp. Beautiful Swamp. Guaranteed. Hollow. Vampire. Some of these random vampires can be worth a lot of money. I'm almost certain this vampire might be worth a lot of money. I'll put it in the stack. At the end of the thing, we will uh, take a look. Because it's a very unique vampire. It's a free one with um, trample and haste and all that good stuff. In fact, I would not be surprised if like in, in a bad set like Midnight Hunt, like all the tokens. Wow. All right. Come. Um, all right. All right. What is this set? No, this draft again. Okay. Calistic. Oh, that's a cool card. Blood Fountain, Specimen, that dude, that dude, this dude was really popular. This dude was super popular. Angelic Quartermaster. Oh. Oh, this is a big one, guys. I think this is like, is, is this the one? What does it flip into? Ah, uh, I, I don't know. It's. Beginning of combat on your turn, put plus two, put two plus one plus one encounters on a null target you control. Hmm, doesn't seem great. Daybound, if a player casts no spells in turn, it becomes a six six with hexproof. All other permanents you control have hexproof. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a two plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Mm, I'm not sure if this is good or not. It's a beautiful artwork, and I'm pretty sure I remember checking it. But I didn't really check the mythics, to be honest with you. I just checked the uh, the rares, if you will, because I don't really ex expect to hit the mythics to be. You know, I don't expect to hit the mythics that much. All right, well, this is our best set. We'll, we'll open one of these, these big babies, right? Uh, we'll open the Strixhaven. That's kind of cool. We'll open one of these. Uh, I guess we'll open one of these and one of these. So it should be a pretty good opening. I'm very optimistic we can get something good. No, actually, let me put forgotten. No, I would have that one. Oh, okay. Let me put the set in. I was like, okay, they have two different artworks. Oh yeah, let me put this giant pile of random stuff. You guys should be grateful. I it, it took a lot of money to buy this stuff. You guys don't know. Like even like even at distribution price, you're just losing money. There's nothing I can say about this. How much? How many packs is this? Sixty packs at oh, it's not that bad. It's it's better than Weiss, to be quite honest. 